What's going on everyone, Tom Gorin back again with episode 27 I think of the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode series. Today we're getting ready for the Russian Grand Prix at Sochi. Before we get this video underway, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more F1 2020 content. But as you can see, the activity timeline is loaded, filled with activities for us. We begin with a uh, with simulated training, which will give us two experience to Nick De Vries. And Nick De Vries is starting to really uh, pick up the pace as far as how good he can be in the F1 2020 My Team career mode. At first, he wasn't really that good, but now ever since we've upgraded the durability, and with experience, of course, he's now becoming a better teammate, and now he is now helping me fight the Mercedes, but I don't think it's going to be enough for us to win the uh, Constructors uh, titles this season. As you can see, we're going through the timeline, and we have one more a major upgrade to uh, to go and I think uh, yes that uh, aerodynamics upgrade does take place in that timeline so right now we've got mostly level 2 and everything apart from I think the durability um, and also the marketing uh, there's only two facilities that we're going to be working on now for the rest of the season now uh, the durability and also the personnel with the simulator if we can get that simulator to a level three that could really help nick de Vries in the last uh three races uh, japan uh, mexico and also uh, brazil for the final couple of races of the season but here we are sochi for the russian grand prix a track that i really like Actually, when it comes to, you know, driving the circuit, I've been driving it now since since the first got introduced in F1 2014. The progress charts, we've officially taken the realm as the quickest car in Formula 1. We're still lacking behind on the, um, on the aerodynamics, but the powertrain and also the chassis, we have the best engine and the best chassis in Formula 1 with only a couple more races to go. But without further ado, it's time to get a win. It's time for the Russian Grand Prix. Welcome one and all to today's Grand Prix here in southern Russia. A beautiful location besides the Black Sea and a race that has been dominated so far by the Silver Arrows. Mercedes have won here six times in a row since the first Sochi Grand Prix in 2014. Can someone else muscle in on that record here today? It's time to go racing then in the Sochi Autodrome where the long run down to the heavy braking zone at turn two is one of two DRS zones around this 3.6 mile circuit. The other of course down into turn 13. 18 corners make up a lap here today with an average speed somewhere in the region of 130 miles an hour. Anthony Davidson also joins me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about Thomas. That was a great win in the last race. Can keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position and Thomas completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Kvyat, Hamilton, Alexander Albon and Perez, Norris, Stroll, Sainz and Max Verstappen, De Vries, Gasly, Charles Leclerc and Grosjean, Ocon. Russell, Daniel Ricciardo, and Nobuharu Matsushita. Uber, Latifi, Magnussen. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum... I'm not going to lie yet, but Valtteri Bottas has been really strong. Um, all weekend long, while Lewis Hamilton really hasn't been uh, that strong in the same car. But I think, obviously, history has shown that this truck has suited Valtteri more than uh, more than Lewis. But here we are for the Russian Grand Prix. We're going to be doing a one-stop today from the softs to the mediums. And the time difference between that strategy and the softs to the hards is around about five seconds which could be critical in winning or losing the Grand Prix. But we come here having uh, three consecutive wins 
in Hungary, Belgium and Italy. And now we have all the momentum in the world. Daniel Kvyat actually starting in fair place. That's a great qualifying for him. But right now the objective is simple. We've got to simply beat Lewis Hamilton. Here we go. Russian Grand Prix. Uh, race 13 or 40. I've lost count at this point. I do not know. But what I do know is that I'm ahead of Lewis Hamilton. And a win today could really boost our chances in the Drivers' Championship. Here we go for five red lights. Lights out and away we go in Sochi. And it's a terrible start there for Valtteri Bottas. We're in the lead already here in Sochi. But that's probably the worst position that you want to be in. I'm going to try and give Dan Kvyat the slipstream. There he goes. Where is Danny? Is he ahead of Valtteri? I don't think he is as we head towards that tricky turn uh, one. Well, it's turn two in real life, but it's turn one to me. Going through turn three, the long left-hander now. And we're in the lead. And Bottas has secured second place here in Sochi along with um, Daniel Kvyat Albon in P4. Wow, Albon's, Albon had a great qualifying there to finish P4 or to start P4. Ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Here comes Valtteri down the inside. Can he make the move stick? No, he can't. And we hold on for now. Got to try and just maintain the gap here. I don't want to be going too slow because I want Daniel Kvyat to overtake uh, Valtteri. But it's going to be very difficult in order for uh, Daniel Kvyat to really overtake uh, Valtteri when I'm at this pace because right now I'm giving uh, Valtteri the DRS and I think this is the first lap where the DRS will be enabled on this uh, on the straight so here we go how powerful is the DRS of Valtteri Bottas compared to our engine is it powerful enough for him to get past and no it's not he does make some roads but not much in this race Still managing the gap. The gap's around about... It's, just, it's hovering between four temps and two temps per lap. And I think sector one, we're quicker. But sector two, he's just marginally quicker. And, and sector three is quite even, but we're slightly quicker than Valtteri. Uh, does Valtteri get the... Oh! Oh! Oh, there's a problem! There's a problem for Valtteri Bottas! And Bottas is out! Of the Russian Grand Prix. Wow. Safety car is coming in at the end of this lap. Got Daniel Kvyat behind me. Lewis is in P4. Well, Hamilton's in P4. When do I go? Right now I go. I've got to try and catch Daniel Kvyat off guard. Renault have been really good to us. Giving us uh, new improved engines. For the next uh for the you know these last previous rounds but with our upgrades we have a better engine than the works renault engine and as you can see look at the gap right there he's literally nowhere as we head towards 10-2 a little bit go a little bit wide but once again we're in the lead these tires are starting to really feel painful right now I did stay out one extra lap because I felt and I feared uh, the traffic would be very, very bad. Anyway, pit stop number one, number uno, the only pit stop for today's race. We're going to go from the softs to the medium tyres and that should uh, seal it. With the safety car as well, we got some time to really extend the softs uh, tyre life. So we did that, and that's why I'm coming in on lap 12, then lap 11. Anyway, Ricardo goes past, Grosjean get, goes past, I think Latifi and Sainz will go past. And what about Sainz? Does Sainz do? Yes, there's, there's Kvyat. There's Hamilton. Hamilton's behind Kvyat, and that is good for our race. Hamilton has not got past Daniel Kvyat yet, and now we have a lot of free air to push away. Right, Grosjean, oh, he's on the harder tyre. I think he's starting on the hard, so I'm guessing he's going to go long. 
probably into lap 16 or 17. Anyway, Rich overtaking the DRS. Slipstream. Is this going to be enough? Oh, we bang contact. We bang wheels there. Around the outside, I go a little bit wide. But you know what? Fuck you, Grosjean. I'm taking P4. Okay, so I've just noticed something here. Perez, Ricardo, and Grosjean are all on the hard tyres. Now, I thought... I thought they might have went long. But the way that I'm thinking about it, I think they pitted under the safety car to go on the hard tyres, so they've already made one stop. So I need to start pushing now, otherwise Ricardo and Perez, or well, Perez is in the lead now, he could win the race. There is the train. Ricardo and Perez all on the hard tyres. Nine laps to go here in Sochi and I've got to get past Ricardo because Lewis Hamilton is just under four seconds behind and I do not want him closing in especially in the battle in the championship I've got to make this move now if I want any hope of winning this championship which way is Ricardo going to go he's going to go defensive he goes slightly defensive we're going to go down the inside of the Red Bull he locks up though into turn two and there it is P2 and now Perez is left I've been trying to follow uh, Sergio Perez, but Hamilton has overtaken Ricardo, so he's literally forced my hand here. Overtake Rich Mix early, way before the DRS line. Notice how the slipstream isn't as powerful on this game. Look at this. It's not as powerful. I can barely crawl to him. Down the inside, in towards Sector 3. We go a little bit wide, but we take the lead of the Russian Grand Prix with only five laps to go in Sochi. And hopefully Perez can hold on from Lewis Hamilton. Just a matter of time now. Last lap. Round sector three for the final time. Hamilton is in second. We do have the fastest lap. And I'm hoping that we can ex we can extend our well our close in our championship gap to Hamilton. But we've won in Hungary, we've won in Belgium, we've won in Italy. It's going to be four straight wins this season. Around the final corner, we win the, the Russian Grand Prix. And we close again on Lewis Hamilton's championship lead. then and a fantastic win here in Sochi. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralised. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. Here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. I finally decided to change that um, that podium emote or that celebration. I just felt that the old one was getting a little bit out of date, so I decided to change it. But anyway, victory number six. Yeah, it is victory number six of this season. That's mental. Six victories, and yet I'm still behind Lewis Hamilton with only three races to go. And I don't think we got the fastest lap. As you can see, 14 points is the gap between myself and Lewis Hamilton in the championship. I think Daniel Ricciardo is gone now. He's too far back, especially in that Red Bull. At the beginning of the season, the Red Bull was a good car, but their engine has just let them down once again. Uh, Verstappen and Leclerc. They didn't do good in qualifying at all to finish where they finished. Red Bull is still second, but that will change within the next three races. I don't think we're going to have enough time to win the Constructors. But as you can see, Nick DeFree has got the fastest lap of the race. So, at least we got one more point in the Constructors. So, yeah, Ricardo finished fifth. Oh, Nick could have finished on the podium, man. But anyway, a big blow to Mercedes and a massive game for us. Thanks for watching the video, make sure to hit like, comment and subscribe for more F1 2020 content. 
and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.